Okay, I had just picked the, t the Tachygen T999, and I said I was going to pick the Tachygen T80. So here we go. This is um, another Japanese lock from Crack Jeans. And um, this one is actually ranked at blue. I think all the ones I picked so far from him have been unranked. Um, and it has, it's a little bit different. It does have two rows of pins again like the other one. But one row comes in from the left, and the other one comes like diagonal from the top right. Um, so you, you push up on those. Um, to pick this guy, we'll go ahead and use a Z bar. And I've picked this once um, already. Which way is this turning? I didn't. Yeah, turning to the right. So there's a little piece on the back. If you take it off, you can rotate it any way you want. But it's on there right now, so I can only rotate to the right. And for this, um, I have a few picks here. Uh, they're from multi pick. I have the Elite G Pro number seven. It's like a left hand flag. Um, and I'm going to use this for the pins on the left. Um, so there is one in the front little click, uh, and these are the left pins, two little click, and I, I think the first time I did this I had to go back and forth through them quite a bit, I can't get on the next one. There was a pin up top preventing me from getting on the next one. Um, yeah, there's a pin right here stopping me from getting past it. So. Uh, let's go ahead and I have this um, number number two and then I have the number one. Number two is a little bit more of a curve to it and it's a little bit shorter. So I'm going to see if I feel anything on these top pins. There's one right here. One right here. Yeah, maybe I'll use the, the taller one, the number one. I can't see in the keyway at all because the, there's no lighting down there. I said first one, nothing. Second one here. Click from it. Third one, I think this is what's blocking me from getting anywhere. I can't get under it with this number one, so I think that's why I have the number two. All right, so that third one again. Oh yeah, I think I got right past it. All right, uh, <laughs> sorry, we're gonna go back to the left side and see if if, if we moved anything out the way a little bit. I only need to move it out a little bit. I do want to feel all these left side ones before I go to the top. Click from the third one on the left. A little click from the fourth one. And a little click from the fifth one. I think that's all the left side pins. But I'll probably have to revisit them um, after attacking some of these top pins. So I'll go back to this number one. And what I'm doing is I'm turning it to push on the top and then maybe even like leveraging a little bit to lift it up. So the first one is, um, I think that one is either loose or already set. Second one I had set before, it feels still a little springy. Third one is set, pretty low lift, I guess. Fourth one, click from it. Uh, and that might be it for the top. I guess there's only four up there. I think the other Takigen had five on the left, uh, five on the right, four on the left. This one seems to have five on the left and four on the top. Just double checking the top here. All right, so now we're going to go back to the left now that we've done some of the tops. Uh, the first one on top might not be set yet, but it seems to be waiting for something. All right, first one on the left. Second on the left. Third on the left. Maybe a little click there. Fourth on the left. Nope. Sounds like something dropped it while I was touching that one. First one. Second one. Third, fourth. Yep, let's go back to the top. Uh, another not so clean pick, I guess, this one. I don't know what these talk again. You might hear me moving this this little thing on the front rotates. So you might hear me clicking into that every now and then, but it's not, not a pin clicking. It's just my finger on it. I'm gonna try to put my finger back here or something. A bit weird of weird of a grip, but maybe make less noise. Uh, maybe a little click from that third one. The second one, I mean. Yeah, nothing else seems to be binding up top. Double check this first one again. Yeah, I'm going to let off a little bit just to drop anything that might be overset. Feel these again. A little, little, little click from the second one again. Go after the left side. Back 
first one felt like it was binding. A little click from it. Second one. No, I don't think so. Might be overset. Third one. Click from it. Major four. Click. Oh, it feels like I lost a lot when I let off some tension then. This is a top one there. It was just getting in my way, so I pushed it <laughs> I pushed it with this. First one again. Second, third, fourth, and can I get on the fifth one? Alright, so top. Maybe so maybe I have to keep my tension up on this one, it seems, otherwise things drop pretty easy. So the first one, no. Second one, no. Third one, yes, click. Fourth one that I pushed out the way. Or is that the third one? Maybe there are five up here. One, two, three, four. And I think there might, I can't quite tell if there's a fifth one. Um, if there is, it's already been pushed up pretty far. Check this left again. Now that first one, I don't know if it's binding or if it's, I'm oversetting it. Second one, third one, fourth one. Little click there from the fifth. Back to the front. First one is springy. Little click from the second now, or it's from the third. Fourth, fifth, little click on the fifth again. Uh, first one, springy. Second one, springy. Third one, springy. Fourth one is a low lift, but springy. Fifth one, springy. So it's gotta be a top. Something up top, probably just like one more up top. Let's feel the top again. First one, click from the first one. We haven't got a click from that one yet, so that's good news. Second one, no. Third one, no. Fourth one, no. Oh, is there a fifth one here? Can't quite tell. Well, I gotta click off that first one. I might need to check the left again now. Two, three, four. And if there's a fifth one, I can't feel it. Huh, come on. It should be open, right? It's it's almost like these have a little bit of a taper to them or that that requires them to be set twice, it seems like. Now let's just do this gently. One, two, three. Okay, whew, that took a bit longer than than I would expect. Gave a little fight. Um I'm I'm suspecting there might be some either taper on the end of the um of the driver pins or there's like a little chamfer or bevel on the plug that requires you to kind of set these twice. That's just a guess. Um, but we will see. Hopefully hopefully uh, I can gut it just like the other one. So same deal. I'll put the left low, right high on there. Has a same nut on the back. But this one looks like it has a locking washer right there. That same thing that limits you to only turn one direction. Hold on. Okay, locking washer, uh, the direction thing came off. Uh, looks like there's a little clip here. Like a little paper clip kind of clip. Mm, if I rotate it a little bit to get it, oh, should probably lock it up. That'll help. Rotate it a little bit to get that over the gap. And then hopefully I can get under it like that and make work my way around. Get that clip off. So it's just a little piece of wire or whatever clip. There's also this, but I don't need to take this off. Um, now that follower I, I had just made, um, 
I usually, I, I've been, I start putting my followers up on Thingiverse, so maybe I'll put this up there. You can find that there. I'll probably name it Tuck Again Follower or something like that. I forget what my Thingiverse name is. Norland something, probably. Um, all right. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, wait. Let me, before I do that, let me think. Um, so if I have it on the left and the top right, if I turn it to the right, yeah, I can just turn it to the right a little bit like that and it should be fine okay so you want to when you're pushing this out you want to hold the key pins or the key if it comes out it doesn't want to come out further all right maybe is this follower the wrong size this follower is too big this follower is too big isn't it Okay, follower seems like it's too big. Now I wish I didn't take the, uh, wish I didn't lock it back up. So I hadn't measured this before. I'm guessing this one, some reason, has a little bit smaller plug. So we're gonna have to gut it the hard way. Um, what we'll do is find where it locks again. Do I have a sharp? I have a sharpie. What we'll do is we'll make a mark here so I know the locked position is like that and that tells me that I want to keep the thing a little bit rotated from there uh, it doesn't matter since I have the key in but I'll keep it a little bit rotated from there and we'll start working our way back this center piece is gonna be a problem though because um, it will uh, get in the way of the pins potentially coming out of the plug All right so we got something from the top right yeah it's getting in the way of the, the pins coming out, which sucks. Um, there's one from the left. I'm definitely gonna have to print a follower for this to re repin it. Okay, so first one from the top right is right here. Put that in there. I don't really care about the spring yet. Um, I do wanna rotate this. I'm trying to be careful not to drop key pins out of the plug while I'm doing this. So that was actually not top right. That was actually one of the left pins. So I'll put it low like that. Here's the top right right here. No, oh, no that was right. I'm, I'm, I'm backwards because I'm looking at the back, right? So that's the left, the last one on the left, All right? I'm getting some springs. I just throw those away. I'm hoping they're all the same. Top right. And left. Throw the spring out. No, oh, don't throw it off the tray. Uh, left. Where did it go? Okay, I'm dropping key pins now. I'm not too worried about key pins. They, you can find where they go with the key. Drivers, you can't. Okay, top right, third one. Second one on the left. I'm not sure where the third one on the left went. That might be it. Because I see this. Come on. A little bit more. Okay, that one there is the left one. And this one here is the top right one. Oh, shot a spring at myself. Wow, okay, and I'm losing key pins. So, probably the messiest gut ever. I'll have to figure some stuff out in a second. That spring that shot towards me. Looks like I dropped most of my key pins from both sides. All right, what key pins did I keep? I kept the last one on the left. So that's the fifth one on the left at least. And don't cut stuff like this. Don't do this. Last one on the right. And the third one on the right. Okay, figuring out the rest of these. I don't mind. I mean, this is a good video. If you sad ass at your lock, right? You accidentally pull something out. Um, keep track of as many as you can while you're while you're gutting it. 
the rest go ahead and figure out um, so I got the fifth one so I'm only dealing with uh, that one looks a little bit tall I don't know if I'm in the frame second one looks a little bit tall it doesn't look like the third one that one looks really shallow so looks like the fourth one there might be it second one there um, is this one really shallow no is this one really shallow there's like it looks really shallow there third one okay first one okay so that looks about right but I'm not 100% sure so I'm gonna keep those in while I populate one, two, and four on the right. Um, actually, oh, I, I was gonna say grab the key and look at it, but it's in there right now. All right, so number one, number, uh, number two, and number four. Uh, number two doesn't look right there. It's sticking out, and number four looks like it's sticking in. So let's get those out, swap them. Number four and number two. And that looks about right there. And that looks about right there. And what you can do is when you have them in, I don't recommend this because you might get key pins in the empty things, but you can push it in and see if it fits. It does, so that means none of them are sticking out too far. So continue. Number four on the left, three on the left, two on the left. And one on the left and then on the right number two oh, number one sorry number two and number four okay so we got our keep in sorted like that we'll start moving some uh, springs around to make this a little bit cleaner springs and we are still needing to determine a few drivers so there's what we got there. Driver, driver, driver. These drivers, I want to I want to look at what was giving me that that picket twice kind of feel, but what it looks like, it looks like it might be serrations that gave me that picket twice feel. It might be, but I'm not 100% yet until I look closely at one of these. Um, first I want to get everything sorted and then I'll worry about that. So I think I got all these drivers in the right place. Um, but what do we got here? We got two more drivers, and are they about the same height? Um, they look to be about the same height, so I don't think it matters which one's which. They both have a little like, so they they look like they have this little like serration, but it's on the spring end of it. So I, I don't know what that's about. But they look about the same, so if I can get it not to stick to the tweezer, we'll put it down there. Put it down there. That should be about right. Um, you'll know that you get the drivers wrong if you can't push the key all the way in or pull the key all the way out because maybe you have like a long key pin trying to pick up, push up a long driver, and it hits the top of the Bible, and then you know you gotta you gotta shorten one of them because you can't get the you can't get the key to go past that that pin. Um, let's zoom in a little and try to figure out why it felt. Okay, I see it. I think there is. Like I said, I said that there should be like either a, these are tapered uh, drivers, or there would be a little bevel on the plug. And indeed, every chamber has a little little like step right there. They all have steps. So what's going to happen is you're going to pick it, it's going to drop to that stepped area, and then something else is going to bind, and you have to come back to this and pick it off. Actually, they, they don't feel, this one felt like it has a top lip, like almost like a counter mill that would catch like a gin, but it's only on one side. It must just be, because the rest of these are just kind of step downs. And then the top right has the same treatment. So that's why a lot of these had to be, so that, that adds a level of complexity there um, when picking it. In any case, the, the video is going on forever because of that big mess I made out of the, the, the gutting. I'm going to need to um, print another one of these. I'm going to have to measure that diameter and then print one of these a little bit thinner. They only take half an hour to print, so not, not so bad. That is the Tachygen TAC-80. Um, thanks, and we'll see what we have next.